Good evening, everyone. My name is Mike Cannot, and I'm the high school director here at Vantage Career Center. I would like to welcome each of you to our annual Vantage Career Center Senior Awards Program. Our purpose tonight is to honor students who have earned not only academic credits towards graduation, but also certifications, licensure, and other valuable skills in their two years at Vantage Career Center. To begin today's ceremony, Ms. Katie Keller has asked to lead those who wish to participate in an invocation. And Ms. Violet Taylor will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance to honor all of our students who will be going into military service, as well as all veterans and active duty service members. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, Thank you for allowing us to gather for the Vantage Career Center Senior Award Ceremony. May this graduation day be a celebration of hope and faith that our skills, knowledge, and growth provide for a successful future. Thank you for the Vantage staff who have prepared us. May the students continue to live lives of learning and discovery, and in doing so, bring great honor to their employers and communities. May we hold this memory in our hearts as we continue our career paths. Amen. Please rise and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Katie and Violet. At this time, I would like to thank our many associate school representatives with us tonight in support of their students. Vantage Career Center and your students appreciate you allowing us to be a part of these young men and women's lives over the last two years. Now I would like to thank a few groups that have also made this night possible. First, our Vantage Administration. Superintendent, Mr. Rick Turner. Treasurer, Mrs. Laura Peters. And our supervisors, Mrs. Paula Van Tilburg, Business and Services. Ms. Tanya Temple, Student Services and Academics. And Mr. Ted Verhoff, our Trade and Industrial Supervisor. Thank you, administration, for your ongoing support of our students. I would also like to thank members of the Vantage Career Center Board of Education. Vantage and your students appreciate your dedication to our school and our associate districts. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Jeff Schulte. Mr. Schulte is a graduate of Kaleida High School and the Precision Machining Program here at Vantage Career Center. We are honored to have Mr. Schulte with us today to address our students and share his perspective to help all of you as you move from high school into the workforce. Hello, seniors. My name is Jeff Schulte, and I am the Plant Operations Manager at Umberforth Manufacturing in Delphi, Ohio. First of all, congratulations on this huge accomplishment. I know this year did not end the way you, your family, your school and your communities anticipated, but we are all extremely proud of you. Just like you, I chose Vantage Career Center to complete my high school education. Vantage provided me with tools and opportunities that opened many doors throughout my career. 
I started my high school education at Clyda and graduated in 2002 from Vantage Career Center in the Machine Tool Technology Program. I chose this program because I knew I enjoyed working with my hands and I was unsure if college was the right fit for me. After starting the program, I became very excited about school and learning. Vantage Career Center really jump-started my career by not only giving me the basic skills in my industry, but I found a new and exciting way of learning. While attending Vantage, Algebra, Geometry, and Trigonometry finally had a use in my life, which seemed to make it much easier to learn. After high school, I continued my education at Owens Community College, earning a certification and an associate's degree in manufacturing technology. I finished my college education with a bachelor's degree from Eastern Michigan University and a master's degree from the University of Northwestern Ohio. We all have to create our own paths for success in life. Your path may not be the same as your peers, but you hold the key to your own success. As you move on to the next stage of your life, make yourself a promise that you'll never stop learning. Take the time to build the knowledge and skills to be successful in life, whether it is on the job training, sitting in a classroom, or on campus, reading books, or just as something as simple as looking up a new skill on YouTube. There are infinite ways to gain knowledge. Find what works for you and stick with it because knowledge is the key to success in whatever profession you choose. You need to be willing to learn new skills and continue to reach your goals in life. Take a moment to yourself and think back of a friendship you have gained, the skills you have learned, and the memories you have made at Vantage Career Center. Cherish those memories and carry them with you. They will help you in your success as you move forward into the next chapter of your life. One memory I have from Vantage included Mr. Bill Keith and Mr. Larry Ray during my senior year. Vantage acquired a used wire EDM machine and literally no one knew how to run it. Mr. Keith gave us the manual and said, there you go boys, figure it out. At first I was very upset about this, but my peers and I worked together and what do you know, we got it running. Now 18 years later, I can tell you I would have no clue how to run that machine. But I can tell you over the last 18 years of work experience, I have used the skill of figuring it out on almost a daily basis. I am grateful of the staff and the students at Vantage Career Center for helping me gain the knowledge and the skills I still use today. Congratulations once again. Be proud of the knowledge and skills you have and continue to gain. Best of luck moving forward. Enjoy the future. I now welcome Miss Megan Garrity. Megan is a senior from Paulde High School and is a member of our senior Ag and Industrial Power Technology Program. Megan will be speaking today about her decision to choose Vantage Career Center and the opportunities that have come from this decision. Welcome family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. My name is Megan Garrity. I have been a student of the Ag and Industrial Power Technology Program. It is an honor to be given this opportunity and speak for such a memorable occasion. First, I just want to say that Vantage has some of the best teachers who truly care about us and taught us with passion and give everything they had in hopes of molding great contributors to society. You have all helped shape us into the people we are here today. Thank you all for your dedication. I myself am very grateful for all I have learned. This certainly has been an amazing journey and one the class of 2020 will likely never forget. This ending is definitely not the way we envisioned, not only this award ceremony, but also the last few months of our high school years. I'm sure no one thought March 12th would have been our last day walking the halls of Vantage Career Center. It saddens me, as I'm sure it does most of the Vantage students, that we aren't about to complete our last high school days together with our friends, as well as the wonderful staff we have come to know and respect. With this sadness though, comes the ability to overcome challenges and obstacles, and this is what will define us as we enter adulthood. We have moved from childhood into adulthood, and now we have to find our passion and figure out what we want in life. After all, we don't want to live in our parents' basements forever, now do we? We will all soon receive our diplomas, but this is not the end of our journey. Our journey is just beginning, and it's going to be amazing. 
I think it is important to remember that our future is not just something that happens. It is up to us to create it. There will be obstacles and failures. There will be circumstances where we may feel defeated, but mistakes help us grow. They will be just as important as our successes because they will define us. Life is supposed to be difficult. It's what enables us to grow and develops our character. But we have to work hard and learn from these experiences. Great people are simply ordinary people who have an extraordinary amount of determination. They just keep on going. They realize they are never a failure until they quit. Successful people are not people who never fail. They are people who get up again and keep going. George Washington lost two thirds of all battles, but won the Revolutionary War and became the first US president. Napoleon graduated 42nd in a class of 43, but then went on to conquer Europe. Babe Ruth in 21 years hit 714 home runs but struck out 1,330 times. Roland Macy failed seven times at retailing before starting Macy's department stores. Each and every one of you has potential for greatness, but there are no shortcuts to greatness. You have to put in the effort and discipline yourself. Strive for progress, not perfection. Don't let fear hold you back. You can't worry about how hard something is. You have to be able to rise up and not let it get the best of you. Strength doesn't come from what you can do. It comes from overcoming things you once thought you couldn't do. Giving up is the easy thing to do, but making it through to where you need to go all the way to the end, now that's a whole nother story. You have an amazing, exciting life ahead of you. Just don't give up in the middle because it gets difficult. You can't be a person who wants something good to happen and just sit there doing nothing and wait to see if it does. You have to make the decision to get up off your couch Put your phones down, put your shoes on, and step out so you can see the opportunities that are there for the taking. You need to be able to encourage yourself. It's not somebody else's job to make you feel good about yourselves. You need to be able to tell yourself, everything will work out. Things will get better. I am proud of myself. I am important. I am worthy. I am strong. I can do this, and the best is yet to come. Remember that hard work leads to success and you'll get the most out of any situation if you give it 100%. There should be pride in your eyes and hope in your hearts and plans in your mind. One of the things I admire most about this group of seniors is how we all came together as a class. Before we arrived here at Vantage, we all came from very different schools, but here and together, we were able to combine our talents and skills into an influential and dominant body of educational excellence and achievement became an accomplishment. This senior class will always be united in a truly unique way. As students and friends, we have made many memories together, some amazing, some difficult, most of which we will look back upon someday and have some incredible stories to share. I consider myself lucky to have known many of you and be a part of the bond and closeness we have created together. So today, we close the door to the past, open the door to the future, take a deep breath, step on through, and start a new, exciting, and amazing chapter in our lives. I pray that the class of 2020 will hold their head high and be proud of everything they have accomplished. In closing, I want to leave you with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. Quote, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, end quote. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Megan, and all of us here at Vantage Career Center wish you the best of, the luck, best of luck in the future. Hello, my name is Ms. Temple and I am the Student Services Supervisor here at Vantage Career Center. Many scholarships have been awarded to our students and at this time we would like to recognize all Vantage seniors who have made us aware of any scholarships which they intend to use to continue their education. Congratulations seniors and the best of luck as you continue to further your education. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Ted Verhoff, and I am the supervisor at Banty's Career Center over the trade and industrial programs. I have a few awards to give out this evening. The first one is the Robbie Seffernick Award. Robbie was a junior in our welding program when he tragically lost his life six years ago. Everyone who knew him enjoyed being around him, and to put it simply, he was a great student and friend. In order to honor Robbie, his family sponsors the Robbie Seffernick Memorial Award. Each year, one welding junior is selected and they receive the welding kit and tools that are to my left. It gives me great pleasure this evening to introduce the 2020 Robbie Seffernick Memorial Award winner. The recipient is Derek Wyrock, Fort Jennings. Derek, we will make arrangements with you in order to pick up your awards. Congratulations. The next awards are sponsored by Kennedy Manufacturing located here in Van Wert. Kennedy manufactures toolboxes and is a very proud supporter of Vantage Career Center. For the past seven years, Kennedy Manufacturing has sponsored the Precision Machining Student of the Year, as well as the Industrial Mechanics Student of the Year. These students are selected based off what Kennedy Manufacturing deems essential characteristics in the employees they hire. It gives me great pleasure this evening to introduce the Precision Machining Student of the Year, Trevor Siefker, Kaleida High School, and the Industrial Mechanics Student of the Year, Michael Bergai, Audeville High School. Trevor and Michael, congratulations. And once again, we will make arrangements with you in order to pick up your awards. This is Trevor's award, and this is Michael's award. The next award is sponsored by Crown Equipment. Crown Equipment Corporation has and continues to be a very big supporter of Vantage and our students especially our welding program. The lift trucks they produce are top quality and they are proud to be associated with Vantage Career Center. Each year a welding student is selected that they feel deserves to receive the welding equipment that you see in a little bit beside me. It gives me great pleasure to introduce that Tanner Mathewson, Delphus Jefferson, is the recipient of the Crown Welding Student of the Year Award. Congratulations, Tanner, and we will make arrangements in order for you to receive your award. And finally, it is with mixed emotions that I am able to present the Marcus Landon Memorial Award. Marcus and his family were and still are dear friends of my family and I. Marcus was a 2007 teen Kaleida and Vantage graduate from the Industrial Mechanics Program. Marcus was also employed and loved working at Toledo Molding and Dye. Unfortunately, Marcus passed away unexpectedly from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. In order to honor Marcus, his parents, John and Lenny, and brother Kyle wanted to give something back to a Vantage Industrial Mechanic student in memory of Marcus. Marcus truly loved Vantage. It gives me great pleasure to announce that Nolan German, Ottaville High School, is the recipient of the Marcus Landon Memorial Award. Congratulations, Nolan, and we will make sure that you get your award. Uh, this is Tim Gerken. I'm with uh, Nolan Brothers Construction and General Superintendent. Um, here to Bring on Mike Rice. I'm, I'm Mark Rice. I am a senior at Vantage Career Center. Uh, Mike Scholey with Carpenters Local 372 out of Lima, Ohio. Um, we'd like to bring Mark on board, uh, present him with a uh, t shirt from our local, um, and the local 372 has uh, decided that they will uh, give the top student. Uh, Vantage Career Center every year um, who joins our apprenticeship 
uh, some starter tools to get them going. So we got a bag of tools here and some tool belts uh, that are coming. So congratulations and welcome aboard, Mark. Yeah, we're presenting with a hat and uh, one of our t-shirts. And welcome, welcome him to uh, Miller Brothers Construction. Thank you to everyone. And finally, I would like to say to all the seniors out there, congratulations. And I wish you nothing but great success in your near future. Thank you. Also this evening, we would like to take time to recognize those seniors who had earned the opportunity to compete at the state level in Skills USA, Business Professionals of America, FCCLA, FFA, and HOSA. Even though those competitions were canceled because of our current situation, we are still so very proud of you all and know that you would have represented Vantage Career Center with great pride. This time we will be recognizing each of the seniors with their career passport. This document contains information to assist them as they leave Vantage Career Center and seek employment or further their education. Tonight, several of our programs will also deliver awards of distinction, which are selected by the career technical instructor. These awards are given to the students who represent the highest standards in personal qualities school activities, and skill proficiencies. At this time, I welcome Mrs. Paula Van Tilburg to begin the passport presentation. Cosmetology. Instructors Amy Groathaus and Susie Smith.
Criminal Justice, Instructor Zach Miller. Culinary Arts Instructor Robin Burns Early Childhood Education, Instructor Marsha Osenge, Preschool Teacher Rhonda Davis. Health Technology Instructors Wendy Bomley, Lee Carey.
Interactive Media, Instructor, Jill DeWert. Medical Office Management Instructor Diane Font Network Systems Instructor Larry Ragadance The awards of distinction for the Business and Service Programs are Alexander Welker, Culinary Arts Katie Keller, Early Childhood Education Bridget Martin, Health Technology Casey Denman, Interactive Media Rachel Brees, Medical Office Management Gage Smith, Network Systems Mr. Ted Verhoff will now announce the honorees from the Trade and Industrial Programs. Ag and Industrial Power Technology, Instructor Mike Miller.
Auto Body Instructor Mike Valena. Automotive Technology Instructor Larry Davis Carpentry Instructor Jerry Robinson Construction Equipment Technology Instructor Chris Miles Teacher's Aid Deb Richardson
Electricity. Instructor, Mal White. Industrial Mechanics. Instructor, Kevin Van Oss. Precision Machining Technology, Instructor Larry Ray. Welding Technology, Instructor Gary Kearns.
awards of distinction for the trade and industrial programs are Ag and Industrial Power Technology, Kaylee Tressler, Auto Body, Spencer Smith, Carpentry, Mark Rice, Industrial Mechanics, Michael Bergai, Precision Machining, Evan Myers, and Trevor Siefker, Welding, McKenna Seaver. Congratulations once again to all of our seniors. Before we wrap up this evening, there are many people who deserve a great deal of thanks for their efforts in making this event possible. First, I would like to thank Elena Ellis, Gail Gillette, Lisa Yearling, and Miriam Owens. These ladies completed all of the certificates, the, pro the programs, and did various other duties to make sure that this program was a success. Secondly, Mary Ann Falk, this video presentation would not have been possible without your hours of work. Thank you very much. To Vantage staff members, thank you for the hours that you have put into successfully educating these accomplished students. Beth Evans, Samantha Heckler, Susan Farr, and Laura Stocksdale, thank you for the time you have put into organizing these seniors' career passports. Jim Fisher, thank you for compiling the scholarship information over the course of the school year. And last but not least, parents and family members, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your child's life. We know it's not an easy decision and it takes a great deal of courage and faith from all of you to allow it to happen. I think I speak for the entire staff here at Vantage Career Center when I say it is truly appreciated. Finally, seniors. It always amazes me how quickly the time goes as an educator. It seems like just yesterday that we were in the Commons for the Junior Awards Ceremony on the last day of school last year. If you remember back to that Junior Awards Ceremony, you may remember a story I shared with you about my goal and journey to someday qualify for the Boston Marathon. During that story, we talked about setting goals and setting your goals for after high school and, and looking to, ahead to those goals and that if you want something bad enough, you'll find a way to achieve it. Today is the start of your next journey, a time when you put your action plan into place and you work towards achieving those next goals in life. It won't be easy. There will be obstacles that get in the way. If we've learned anything from this year, we know that circumstances in your life will change and you will need to adjust your plans in order to achieve your goals. But if you stay committed, stay motivated, and stay consistent, you'll make it happen. Remember, if you want something bad enough, you will find a way. For this Vantage class of 2020, I couldn't be more thankful for the time that we have had together over these last two years. Even though the last two months of our time was taken from us, you have accomplished so much in your time here at Vantage, and those accomplishments can never be taken away from you. We can't thank you enough for the positive ways in which you've impacted our halls forever. Seniors, thank you for coming to Vantage. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your lives. To our newest Vantage alumni, I know you've been waiting to hear this for a long time. You are dismissed. Have a good evening, everyone. Good night and stay safe.